Hello everyone, my name is Lily and welcome back to another episode of The Medium. If you missed out last time, we... All work and no play, are you, Henry? All right. Let's see what makes you tick. We are inside Henry's mind. Who Henry is, I have no idea, but he is a grade A a-hole. So... What is this? Oh. No way across. Guess I'll just make my own. Oh! Cool. He is a great A asshole. <gasps> Fuck. What the in here? What the hell was that? That was terrifying. That sounded even worse than the Maw and Richard's uh, Richard's monster put together. That sounded worse than that. Oh my god. Well. Oh. It's huge. That monster is huge. So, from what I gained so far, a lot of this game. Uh, gives trauma physical form, which is the form of these monsters. So I'm wondering if this is also trauma. We can't run anymore. I'm wondering if this guy's monster is also trauma. Let's move this out of the way. We good. Okay, let's get going. I also like how each person has a very unique sort of world in the spirit world. Like, if you look at Marianne's, what what she typically sees, it's very different from this. And so it makes me wonder, like, if being inside people's heads gives them a different thing all the time. And if I wonder if Marianne can do that, too. Because for her, she's like existing in the real world and being split in half. But this guy is his own entity living here. Well, not here, but living almost side by side with his real world counterpart. Okay. Don't see anything we can interact with there. But someone's definitely recording. Is, this, is Henry brainwashed, maybe? There you are. At least the part of you I'm after. The boy. If you kill the boy, you kill the adult too. Which is what we saw in Richard's case. Uh, let's go with this first. Case file 7325. Codename Butcher. Suspect Jacob Wilt suspect, suspected of theft, fraud, illegal trade. Investigator Henry Wilk Soul Senior Constable. Where, where did he get sold from? Okay. Real tape. Looks like we're gonna need this. Uh yeah, let's let's continue. Locked. Locked. Okay, where can we put this for real in? I saw that there was another, but I think that's just the letter, right? Yeah. Oh, here, here, here. Do you know why you're here? I'm not playing your games, Henry. <laughs> Don't call me that. The agency was led to believe you've been stealing meat from the working people of the Republic. Oh, well, I'm not ready. Where would they get that idea, I wonder? <laughs> you've been a very bad boy. Let's just get this over with. Given your line of work, you had ample opportunity to commit your crime. It is a crime against the people. Punishable by death. Anything to say 
in your defense? I'm sorry, Henry. What? He got him to confess so fast. I feel like Henry is a guy consumed by his work. Oh my god. Uh, well, well, we'll be fine. I mean, Richard's monster didn't come and kill us, so maybe we'll be okay. Dude. I love the atmosphere. The like the impending doom because you know there's something gigantic out there but you can't really see it you see glimpses of it and you know it's a freaking ass awful monster but i love the build up towards that it's so good and then like this world of henry's with all the drawers all the boxes like <laughs> oh my god it's chaotically organized but probably done in a way Shit that only Henry can manage, right? Because like, uh, we're gonna be okay. Like for us, this, this is, how can you find anything ever? But for Henry, it's probably so well and meticulously organized and categorized. Damn. Oh my God, he's, yeah, I know that Henry is into torture for sure. I don't even know what that is hanging in the back. Ration stamps issued by the government of Polish People's Republic. Anything else? Nah. Was he a butcher before this? Before he became uh, uh, an investigator or part of the special service? Hmm. Well, the deeper we go, your whispers. The deeper we go, the more we'll find out about him. Oh my god, this is terrifying. I forgot how to react to this. I think we have to- oh! Is that bad? Come here! Yeah, no, that's bad. Fuck, don't you hide from me! That's bad. Okay, we crouch. We cannot crouch. Okay. So Where are to... you, boy? Oh. That's somebody looking for him. For Henry. Okay, run now. Cool. There's nothing here that we can interact with either, so that's a shell. Bad boy! So somebody was definitely abusing Henry as well. Okay, let's wait for that light to come on and then we'll run because I think we gotta go through. Hello? Where's the light? Is it not coming back? I feel like the moment I'm gonna run out. I know you're here. Come here! Oh no. Okay, we'll wait for it to. There it is. Here? Yes. There Fuck. you are! I know, I know. Oh my god. Don't you hide from me. Who is it who's looking for him? I wish that we could crouch. But... It's okay. Oh, okay. Does it come back? Does it come back? Does it start over or does it come back? Definitely comes back. Okay. So we'll have to find something to hide behind, I guess. As we keep going. Just be careful. Maybe we can hide behind here. Yes. Quick, quick, quick. Okay. Easy does it. Easy does it. Power's out. No, power's good. That was good, okay. Well, I can't, there we go. 
So... Yeah, because the deeper we go, the closer to his childhood we get, right? So before we were in his Secret Service days and now we're in his younger days, maybe 20s. Could be even earlier than that. It's possible that he worked as a butcher's assistant as a teenager. And the guy who was looking uh, for him with a flashlight did call him boy. So maybe we're getting closer. Like, I mean, like, faster than I thought we would. But this guy's life is just all darkness. Someone is chained up over there, right? Are we able to stand in this red light? Yeah. Oh, that's not somebody. It's just whatever. I think we need to cross. Yeah. Okay, easy. Yeah, look at all those candles and stuff hiding out over there. Safe place, maybe? From, like, all of the butcher and carnage. There's a dolly there in the corner. This is definitely when he was a kid. Let's see. Let's see. Anything good? There's a book here. Oh, there's... What was lit up? A knife. Okay, let me get this book first. Steady hand, even motions against the grain, always. Let's read this. Always against, never with, always against, never with. It's not really something that you want to be instilling in your kids. <laughs> they turn out to be crazy people. Even motions against the grain, always against, never with, always against. I mean, this explains why he's really okay with torture. There's the dolly. And we get all our power. Oh my god, don't tell me. We have to go all the way back. What? Oh. Can we take a shortcut? I feel bad for having to come in and destroy this person, but we need to protect ourselves. And uh, Thomas's daughters are in danger of being killed. We have to protect the family. There's not much that we can do. And a father... Where are you, careful, careful, careful. A father who is angry will stop at nothing. I mean, that's not the case for everybody. I can't speak for everybody. But as in Thomas's situation, he will stop at nothing. And we've seen it. He destroyed his closest friend. Someone that he trusted and felt like was a father figure to him. And uh, I feel like that's that's a good character. Like, if if you feel completely broken and you go against everything that you thought you believed in, that's I like that kind of character development. It's so strong. It's better than just being like on one track. Okay. I don't know if that guy is gonna be here still. But I feel like we may be getting closer to heading out of here. I hope so. Yeah, we haven't been missing anything so far, which is good. So I like picking up all the little details and stuff. Into the darkness. That's good. See how easy it is when you do as you're told. Oh, it's his dad. Oh my God. Dude, that was pretty sick. That was sick. Okay, okay. Uh, There's something in this drawer here. Right? Okay, well there is, but we can't access it just yet. What about that? That's just a light. I guess let's sit down first because I think the door might be locked. Uh, this one? Henry Witt. Okay, identity card, numbers, numbers, issued 1979. Oh, wow, this is not even that long ago. Expires 1990. Ministry of Internal Affairs, Agent of Security Service. No whispers coming from it. Oh my, this is a lot. Okay, patriotism stronger than blood. Not often do we see patriotism of such quality as was displayed during the past three weeks by senior, con senior Constable Henry Wilk. 
A simple officer of the civic police will show his commitment to building a righteous tomorrow of the People's Republic by rejecting the shackles of his criminal kinship. His daring investigation to the now infamous meat scandal led to a number of arrests, including... What? Including his own father? Jacob Wilk. Okay. The irregularities uncovered by Officer Wilk included corruption, theft of high-quality meat products, and replacing them for lesser ones. Apart from Jacob Wilk, numerous other culprits have been apprehended, including four directors of the socialized meat trade and several store managers. Trial is to commence this coming Thursday, and if the accused are found guilty of their crimes, they will most likely receive, oh my gosh, execution by hanging. When asked for comment, Officer Wilkes' response was simple. I only did what felt just. Truly the words of a patriot. Okay. I... Oh, sorry. I agree that defeating corruption is good. But you know that he had no issue turning in his father. There was definitely a lot going on for him because you you have sometimes people who are born into corruption and then they stay they either stay in the corruption or they leave it and then they fight back so if he was one to fight back you want me to feel sorry for you henry let's see how that works out if he was one to fight back that took a lot of balls a lot of balls uh what am i looking at here another record oh here it is Hello? There we go. It's cool that the memories for him, like the dialogue memories, are on record player thing. What is this? Recording devices? I don't remember what the real tape. That's cool. Vilk, is it? Henry Vilk? What's this about? <laughs> Straight to the point. No fear, no hesitation. If you wanted me dead, I'd be dead already. So, what do you want? I want to offer you a job. I'm listening. I've been doing this a long time. I've come to know people. See what makes them tick. See their potential. Agreed. On one condition. Huh? The work I do for you, it stays at work. That's the way we like it. It has to. If it doesn't, I'm holding you accountable. Welcome to the family. So that's probably when he was recruited for the special services. But yeah, as I said, like, he got balls. Wow, but like his upbringing also kind of contributed to his heartlessness, I want to say. I mean, I'm sure he has heart. But when it comes to dealing with things, like he is, he is 100% uh, professional. Yeah. Is what I want to say. Cause he didn't give two shits. He's a hard ass investigator. Hard ass investigator gives no shits. Okay, okay. We can't run anymore. Oh my god! I wonder if moving these roadblocks is doing anything to Henry's psyche as well. What's this? What's this? What's this? You ever heard of Neva? <gasps> oh boy, this is when he was assigned. Okay, special assignment for Major Henry Wilk. A person of interest has been found at the Neva Workers Resort near Krakow. That's another thing that I want to know. How could they find? Um, how could they find Thomas? Because his power is a particular power that I don't feel like would give an alert to other people. And when Henry was like, we found you because you decided to use your power, it's like, how did they find him? That's what I want to know. Uh, local investigators have reported a strange case involving the painter Classified, which is Richard, 
The person was found alive and in a vegetative state. Foul play was suspected, but the examination didn't show signs of brain trauma. Possible connection to the Gemini case. Consult the classified files. Um, so Thomas is considered Gemini. So does that mean that his soul is split in two? Because Gemini is twins. So does that mean that he has a twin in the spirit world and then a twin? I mean, like the other half of the twin is in reality. Keep it clean, keep it quiet. This is what we've been training you for. Note, I strongly recommend that you acquaint yourself with the Soviet scientist notes we acquired during classified in 1950, which I'm assuming is the notes on Thomas when he was a child. Uh, you've been granted access to archives entry 1138. This is for your eyes only. We'll dig in. Report to your case officer for further briefing. Damn. Damn. Okay. Henry came in and he pretended to be friends with Thomas. And then he beat the shit out of him. What's this? Session number 42. The subject continues to manifest strong supernatural powers. He claims that another classified is talking to him, showing visions. So I'm assuming that this is um, the spirit in the spirit world. Uh, working theory, suspected connection to classified, which is the spirit world, I'm assuming, possibly established as a result of a near-death experience. Okay, so that means Thomas had a near-death experience. Which makes sense. Marianne had a near-death experience. She was almost killed in the fire. So that's pretty cool. But I would say it definitely runs in the family. Because I, they don't have any other notes about other people having near-death experiences and experiencing the same thing. Or just necessary to confirm the split theory. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Oh my god. I wonder if that really is trauma, and if it's trauma, then of what exactly? Very, I do really like how the developers make trauma into monsters. He's gonna come. He's gonna come. Nope, oh, there he is. I'm sorry, monster, I have to read this stuff. Today's session halted prematurely. This is 43. Uh, due to an incident in the test chamber while administering prescribed substances, late scientist Dr. Classified came into skin-to-skin -skin contact with subject. Classified was promptly hospitalized. Yep. The, the spirit version, somebody went into somebody's head and basically killed him. Uh, despite showing no signs of physical trauma, he fell into a vegetative state from which he's yet to recover. Further sessions have been halted indefinitely. So this must have been when Thomas was a child. Um, and these are from the archives, and Henry's mistake was the skin-to-skin -skin contact. You messed up, my boy. Sorry. You should have been paying more attention. Is that why you put the gloves on? No, those gloves had to have been for torture purposes. Oh my god, it actually hit us. I was not expecting that. Easy, easy. I would like to read this, please. Can I read this? Yeah, he's good. We're here. Session 44. Reminder for today's rescheduled session. Despite increased dosage, the subject remains extremely dangerous and needs to be restrained, both physically and mentally, for the duration of the test. Heightened security measures apply. Cool. So even from a very young age, Thomas was like... Deadly. Deadly, deadly, deadly. Okay. I was like, it's. Oh my god. Oh, he's going under us. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. I got a little too carried away. That was so cool, though, making him go under. Oh, sorry. There we go. Getting a little, a little too excited. Easy now, easy. Everything about this game is so good. Like, I wish that I had played this earlier, but I wasn't ready for it. I don't even know if I'm still ready for it, but. Oh no. Oh no. Shit, here he comes. Oh no. Wait, do we have to drop it on top of it? Let's see. Why is this not moving? 
That took a long time. Okay. I thought we had to drop it on top of it, but I guess we just had to drop it in general. And because I didn't do it, it was like, oh, it's cool. Bet you didn't expect that. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure that monster would have just come for us if the game wasn't forgiving. And it was, thanks game. Over here. It looked pretty cool though. It had like a skull for a head. Okay, easy. And of course it had like the really grotesque body. Um, very cool design. There's another big thing we have to drop ahead, I see. Easy. Oh! Oh my god. Pretty sure we were supposed to be a little further along than what we were. Damn. Okay. Pull, 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 pull. It's coming, it's coming. Oh my lord, you lord. Okay. Whew. Just because we're in somebody else's head does not mean we are safe. Man, if I were the spirit version, like if if my presence. Where are you, you four-legged fuck? Yeah, see, this is Spirit Thomas. So if I was Spirit Lily, I would be scared shitless. I don't know how he can just do it and be like, "Yeah, this is cool. This is fine." It's like the dog in the fire. I mean, this is fine. Careful, careful. We're good. Can't get me up here, can you? Don't taunt it. He's coming for your ass. Oh, that's a huge thing. Drop it. Drop it. All of it. Time to put you out of your misery. Drop it quick. There we go. And stay the fuck down. It's like a tailless dog with like a skull for a head. I mean, a skull. Like an exposed human skull. Okay, well that's cool. We've got the monster out of the way. Maybe we could just run our buns to the end now. I mean, he did say we need to hurry and he did say that time moves a lot faster inside somebody's head, but we still have the family to save. Oh, first this. Mommy, daddy, and me. Why are you in a wheelchair? Were you hurt as a child? Were you weak as a child? Like, like a, like a very sad, sickly child. And did you want to be stronger because of that? I'm going away tonight. Oh. Uh. Business trip, short notice. Couldn't be helped. Hmm. Okay, we're getting closer to the end. Okay. Oh! Won't you? Say goodbye to him. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. I have work on my mind. I see. And again, maybe I should. Do you think I should? Yes. Whatever you wish, dear. It's not sure if he loves his child or not. Oh my god. Simon? Where are you, boy? There's nothing we can interact with here. Okay. Dad? <gasps> Simon is the boy in the wheelchair. I got it. Hey there, champ. Aren't you going away again? Daddy has to go to work. Once I get back, we can go fishing. You'd like that, wouldn't you? I don't like it when you go. I know. But sometimes daddy needs to work. It's good for all of us. You understand, don't you? I'm sorry, Simon, but your daddy I... is not coming back. Yes, father. Your daddy ain't coming back. I'm sorry. It was either him or me and we chose me. Uh-huh. 
How far is this guy's head? At least with Richard, we had the uh, maze to keep going through, and that was not even that bad. But this? How deep inside this kid's brain are we going? There's a fortress there, so he's definitely walled himself up. Heavily protected. His, like, inner self. The impenetrable. So cool. Hello, we're here for the boy. Instead of we're here for the girl, we're here for the boy. Let us in! Oh my god, that haircut. This is it. You made it. You're just in time. That's right, kid. Just come to me. I'll put an end to it. I'll set you free. No, it won't let us leave. The monster, it's... Don't worry about the monster, kid. I'll deal with it. I'll put it down for good. Not if it puts you down first. Oh, dude. What did you say? Oh! <gasps> Henry is the monster. Dude. There is no child. There is only Dude. Wow. Your tricks won't work on me, old man. They won't. Definitely not. Oh, don't kill him. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Yep. <gasps> Called it. Oh no. Wake up. Remember? It's him. It was always him. Oh no. Thomas. Thomas is gone. You're too late, girl. Oh my god. You tried to kill us. What did you do to her? What did you do to Lillian? Me. I was already dead. Your father made sure of that. So he did die. Henry did die. He 
wanted to save us. To save her. Maybe. In a way, that's exactly what he did. This is fucking madness. I thought the thing was going to kill us. Time to clean it up. Once. And for all. Oh my god. Wow. Thomas Rekovich. Rekovich. My father. Was he the man on the pier? The man with the gun? The murderer from my dream? Oh. How could he? Why? I needed to know what happened after the fire. What happened to them? To me. Wait, so then the name is different from the person who made the building, right? I don't know. <gasps> I'm getting very confused with all the names. There are a lot of names. <sighs> oh. Wow. Find a way to stop Henry. Oh, we did that. Next mission is what? Unravel the secrets of the Thomas home. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here for today, guys. Wow, what? What a roller coaster of emotions. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you liked it, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, go ahead and throw those down below. And if you want to continue this series with me, go ahead and hit subscribe so you get a notification on when the next episode comes out. But until then, I'll see y'all later. Bye!